Hiya folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims Medieval! I'm very excited to play this game. I was curious when it came out, because it surprised me. I was expecting um, another Sims 3 expansion, and then they announced that they would be working on a standalone game using the Sims 3 engine set in the medieval times. And I thought, oh, well that's kind of interesting. Now I have to admit, when watching the videos that they released about the game on their website, I wasn't terribly impressed. I thought, oh... Well, it was good in theory, but I don't think the execution's gonna work out. But since then, the reviews have come out pretty good. It's got a fairly de decent Metacritic score. I was like, oh, alright, well maybe was, we'll give this a go. And a few people keep requesting Sims LPs, and I would like to get back to Sims 3 and uh, see how the fields are doing at some point. Um, but I thought, well, let's give this a try and see what it's like. I do want to give the disclaimer that this is not going to be part of my regular Let's Play stable of games. So there's no guarantee when another episode may occur or anything like that. Uh, so for now, think of it as a as a one shot. If I like it, then maybe I'll play more. But let's just assume it's a one time thing for now, because I've got a fairly cluttered excuse me fairly cluttered schedule as is. So I have just started the game. I've just changed the graphic settings a little bit, and uh, I am uh, I, I watched the their the the intro movie, which is really excellent. I have to say. As far as intro movies for games, I think this does the best of any game I've ever seen to actually introduce the game. Um, I, I didn't record it because um, I, I thought there was a possibility that it might lead to like the copyright issues, like what happened in the Fallout video. I don't want anyone to be blocked out because of that. So I'm sure you can find it online, probably on the official website or somewhere else on YouTube or something like that. Very cool, just gives you the general idea of what the game is all about. Uh, but you're going to find that out just by watching this. So, as soon as the movie ended, I got to this screen telling me, select an ambition to play. And it said, the only one you've got available right now is this New Beginnings one. Um, so, and then apparently unlocks more ambitions. I have no idea what this represents. There's also achievements. You earn achievements as you play, which increase your watcher level, get achievements to advance past Peepsmith. So, you as a person represent someone called the Watcher or a watcher. I think it's the watcher, and it sounds like you're sort of like a god figure. Overseeing an area, and humans have come in, you're like, awesome, I'm so happy, you know, I, I you know, waited for such a long time for humans to come about. And then it turned out that humans are pretty incompetent at taking care of themselves. They tend to set things on fire and get killed by disease and monsters and whatever. So, um, what you've done is you've set yourself up for, to have a hero show up in town and it sounds like you will be controlling the hero a little bit more directly and through him or her you will be uh, helping these humans survive and maybe get married and have kids and all that while you're at it so achievement levels to increase my watch level right I know nothing about this game when you start a new game with the new ambitions or the new beginnings ambition you will begin with 50 quest points which you spend to embark on quests and adventures Click the round green play button to start your game. Everyone has to begin somewhere, and the first ambition of any monarch is to populate their kingdom. A kingdom full of buildings and sims is just what a budding ruler needs. Alright, let's start and see what the heck this happened. Name the kingdom. Well, this will be, uh, Quillivania. The kingdom of Quillivania. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Pretty gem. I like how they added the little details at the top and the bottom of the gem, just to give it that medieval feeling. Actually, it's got some details inside I don't think I'm used to seeing. Oh, nice sepia tone graphics. Monarch needed. You are now in kingdom mode. This is where you manage your kingdom and place buildings. So, this is going to play a little bit more like, um... Oh, like some like real-time strategy games almost? Or maybe not, but like a city builder game. More than maybe a, a Sims game. Well, we'll see. Alright. Well, I guess this is a little bit like the town view in The Sims. Keep an eye on the upper right corner of the screen. Important messages and story points show up there as you play. This is a lesson notification. Would you like to learn about lessons? No, I don't need to know. These buttons control the camera. Okay, that's fine. I'm sure I can do that. The state of your kingdom. Summary of the kingdom's current status, renown, and resources. Right now, the kingdom needs a monarch, right? Sure. And what's a kingdom without a king? Or a dumb. The monarch is a hero sim that you need to play the game. A monarch lives and works in the throne room. Click on the green map marker over the throne room to see the building details. On the building details, you'll choose a monarch to occupy the throne room. Click learn more to learn about... Yeah, okay, we'll learn more later. So, right here. Ah, throne room. Can I zoom in and out? No, nope, can't really do much right now. Ooh, barracks. 
Oh, but we need we need a monarch first. Let's do that. Nerve sent. Oh, create a new monarch. Oh, this is where we create a character. Resources for trading. You can trade resource points for XP or for money. Three more here. Sweet. Oh, so they've got a couple. Carl Cronin and Ray Jenkins already in there. But we're gonna, we'll create a new monarch, of course. Entering create a sim. Excellent. No, we don't need a lesson on this. Oh, we can totally do. Look at this fat guy. Oh my God. Look at that. No, we don't. We don't want to be fat. I mean, I suppose this is gonna be the king, but no, we're gonna want like a charismatic, cool king. Can we randomize some names? Sammy Kirby. No. Quincy Farrell. Mason Snowden. Anthony Meyer? It's almost no. Mm, Doug. Henry. Henry! Yes. Henry Tover. That's us. Well, I don't know if this is us. So we can do a girl, also fat, guy, we lost our name. Henry Tover. Voices. Okay, so that's name, gender, and voice. Skin, body, and traits. Uh, okay, skin tones. With lots of options. Good. Nice, 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 nice. Lots of options. I think we'll go... Ooh, not pale. No. Oh, wow, he looks undead. We could do the undead kingdom of doom. Doing that, but... And his face, actually... It's not blended properly, really. His head's too bald. We'll have to give him some hair. Nice, actually, texture on the face, though. So, he actually doesn't look that old. So, I want the king to look old. Face detail. Blush and five o'clock shadow. Oh, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of that. Body modifier. Okay, not quite so fat. But sure as well. Well, actually, like this, skinny and lanky, a little older, maybe. That's not bad. It's sort of arist aristocratic. There's some hair options and stuff, too. Okay, let's check the traits out. Hmm, traits and flaws. So it looks like we get two traits and one flaw. Ooh, that's excellent. Mm, adventurous, thrill seekers love to go on expeditions, chivalrous or kind, courteous and loyal, creative cook. I don't think our king is going to be a cook. Dedicated, love their job, often take on a heavier workload, gain more stuff. See, maybe dedicated, I kind of like that for a king, a goodly king who who's cares about making his kingdom as good as possible. That's, that's alright, that's good. I'll just check something here off screen a sec, mate. Okay, just wanted to make sure my microphone settings were good. Um, earthy. Love the natural world, enjoy being outdoors. Look great in brown and green outfits. Excellent. Eloquent. Gifting am Evil. I love how that's not a flaw. That's just a trait. Ooh. Oh, that could be so much fun. Just do an evil king. Excitable, friendly, fun-loving, good. Greedy, so evil and greedy. Haggler. Yes. Okay. Hopeful orphan. Our Sims on a quest to find their long-lost parents. Oh, that's so cool! We'll have to do someone like that. Jokester loves family. Scholarly. See, this is what I I can kind of see. Maybe a smart and dedicated king. Vain. Whale ate my parents. Carnivorous sim-eating whales were a constant threat back in medieval times. Deed legend has it the ocean was transformed, or was formed from the tears of an orphan child whose parents were devoured by the underwater menaces. That's brilliant. Okay. For this first guy, I'm going to go scholarly and dedicated. And what are his flaws? Bloodthirsty. Compulsive gambler. Cowardly. I don't want cowardly, really. Cruel. Mm, cursed. Fates are unkind to Sims afflicted with the cursed traits. Things just never seem to go their way. Drunkard. Fool. Not fool. Glutton. Well, this guy's not fat. Hubris. You're full of yourself. Insecure. A lot, not a lot of confidence, especially in socializing. Insomniac. Actually, I kind of like Insomniac. Fatal flaw. Diff fatal flaws are so perfect for this sort of medieval storyline. Means that they're tired during the day, sometimes fall asleep when they don't want to. Licentious. I guess that means, uh, yeah, they're horny all the time. Misanthrope. Disdain towards other people. Morose. Rarely in a good mood. Puny. Actually, puny might work for this guy. Hopefully our king doesn't have to get into a lot of fights. Weak constitution. Troubles with standing sickness, and that might work too. Delicate stomachs often give them the trouble after eating and drinking. Yeah, that's that's what we're gonna have. So sort of a an older fellow's maybe had, you know, not in his best of health, maybe a little bit ill. Um, let's see what we can do about his hair. I mean, bald is good. Wow, yeah, like we're gonna. Well, my mouse is all messed up. There we go. Uh, I I I really don't think so. No. Um, the bald is okay. There's that. Let's give him. Can we give him gray hair? 
Oh, see now, like now it's starting to look about right. Um. Hmm. Well, no, we have that stupid thing, not that. Oh, hey, the, the like a Caesar cut. Okay, all right, I like that. Okay. Oh, there's hats too. <gasps> king. Silver King. I actually like silver. I don't know if we'll actually wear it though. Well, maybe something. Yeah, now look at that. What does the gold one look like? Actually, the gold one works for this, I think, because it's a little less in your face, and this contrasts his hair color a little bit better. I think that's good. Not, you know, the the, the um, crown isn't too excessive, I think. And of course, this is the creative sim. We could individually create the styles for all the different elements and everything, but I'm not going to work quite that hard. I think that's very good. Oh, his eyebrows. What are they like? I think his eyebrows are okay. Got a little scar, which is interesting, actually. Looking. This is very kindly looking to me. That's the one we just had, which aren't bad. Same one, but without a scar. Oh, maybe the big eyebrows. Faded ones. You know, let's let's give him the one with the scar. A little bit of a little bit of a story there in his youth. I mean, he wasn't always an older king. Facial hair. I think the facial hair is good. Um, give him one of those. It's like very classic, but I think I like the long the long goatee actually. What else we got? Looks. Isn't that what we just did? Oh, that's just changed his face and everything. It's in a slightly different order from the regular Sims, but mm, that's good, we're gonna leave that. Oh, clothing! There are clothing options for your monarch. Um yeah, actually I wouldn't mind changing that. There's just the color scheme, which actually I like this a lot better. Ew. Oh, that's gonna be cool for some hero types, but. I think this is a very nice kingly robes. I like the blue, no, yeah, this one for sure. All right, oh, randomize all, no, we don't want to do that. And we will just accept this sim. That sounds good to me. What's his name? Henry, Henry Tover. Good name. All right, Henry Tover, the Tover uh, family. Now that you have a hero sim, you can embark on quests. You need to be on quest, on a quest, you need to be on a quest to, to play the game, okay. Open the quest book to choose your first quest. And we've got other options here. We can furnish a throne room. Okay, so Monarch level 1. Daily profession income is only 28 simoleons. Quests. In the quest book, you can select any quest in the list. There are dozens of quests in the game, but only a few will be available at a time. Different quests will show up at different times depending on how you play. Please choose first steps and then click next. Okay. First step uh, costs us one quest point. The dust has finally settled on the construction of a grand throne room. The seeds of a glorious new kingdom has been planted, and soon a civilization will grow and cover the land for miles in all directions. The only thing Quilvania... Maybe I should have just gone Quilvania. Quilvania needs... Needed now as a ruler, someone wise and powerful who could unite people under the kingdom's cause. Some quests have multiple ways that you can approach them. As your kingdom games more hero sims, quests will have more available approaches. First Steps has only one approach. Choose if you build it. So this will give us 10 uh, resource points, 400 simoleons, 800 XP, and aspects is plus knowledge. Come on, pop that up, buddy. Knowledge represents the general education level of the populace, encompassing com comprehension and scholarly pursuits in diverse areas like medicine, lore, and mathematics. Oh, good, so we'll be improving our... our so we just need a monarch. Okay, let's, let's do that. If you build it, they will come! Choose a hero's quest for the same. Well, we only have the one, so we're gonna make sure we've got Lord Henry. Awesome. Start quest. Different ways you can follow your sim. No, I don't need that. I'm good on following sims. Welcome to the live mode. Here is your quest panel, right? Panel lets you select which sim you're controlling, see your performance on the current quest, get guidance for your current quest. Hover this guidance icon if you need help. Next. When you're looking inside a building, you will always look through the front wall as you are now, in addition to the camera dial, many other... Yeah, okay. I got the camera stuff. Good time to save the game. It's probably a good idea, actually. Uh, yeah. Actually, I'm going to save the game, and I'm also going to uh, check the, uh, the volume levels. All right, and we're back. I've adjusted the music volume down a little bit. Just uh, it seemed a little bit loud to me, but hopefully everyone can still hear okay. Now, click the pause button to unpause the game and proceed. Don't forget to check the quest guidance icon. All right, let's go. Ping. 
No, we don't need this. My throne room is finally complete. The builders have been working hard, and the fruits of their labor are evident. I should prepare to meet with Buildmaster Philippus. A quick jaunt upstairs to the mirror should su suffice. Oh, and who's this? Builder Vix, Builder Wedge, Builder Lois, Builder Eunice. So, um... Let's just get the controls here. Can I... How do I use to... Oh, there we go. It's a little different. What's this? Oh! The zoom out. How do I zoom back in, though? Alright. Oh, there's Buildmaster Philippus. Oh, I'm going to interact automatically. Love to chat. Uh, no, we don't need to know about socialization. Oh, we need to gussy up in the upstairs mirror first. We need to look our best. Use the floor navigation. Okay, so we're going to go upstairs. Where's... Oh, there's a mirror. Gussy up. We're going to follow our guy. Look at him looking quite regal and thin. We got some XP randomly, maybe because we had a conversation when it says freedom. Looks like you're off the hook, no responsibilities here. Okay, I don't know what that means. Live mode, furnish mode, kingdom mode. Hmm. Let's look at ourselves in the mirror here. Ah, on some. Yes. Oh, we look we're looking good. That's what we're saying. Looking alright. Yeah, just check the beard. Is that our what's this? Slightly focused. Henry's mildly high focus is having a small positive effect on quest performance. Decorated. Oh, we like that it's decorated. We're also attractive. Excellent. Perfect. Now I am a little more focused. Staying focused will make it easier for me to complete any journeys in which I may find myself. Speaking of which, I should seek out Buildmaster Philippus of the Builders Guild, a powerful pillar of the community, and discuss the future of Quillavania. This is my focus meter. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Um, yeah, if when you're happy it goes up. Uh, in addition to increasing quest performance, high focus gives you a better chance of succeeding in your tasks and challenges. Lovely. These are my buffs, yes. Um, yeah, I know how to center on me. I can also right click my sim. Yeah, I know all that. Now, I gotta find the uh, build master again. Oh, he's on the. Oh. Lovely. <laughs> Discuss castle. Awesome. Hmm. I say, good fellow. Would you care to discuss the uh, the kingdom with me? We need to know how to expand, how to improve our kingdom. Oh, you know what? My guy's voice is way too light. I should have tweaked it. Slightly focused, attractive, that's me. The throne room's all done, my lord. We'll need more resources to become the begin the next building in the kingdom. Wood, stone, and supplies will cover it. Hmm, I do enjoy getting my hands dirty once in a while for the betterment of the kingdom. I should make my way to the forest and collect the necessary wood. What?! I'M THE FUCKING KING! Are you serious? Ugh, you must walk to the forest to collect wood. Yes, I can see more of your kingdom outside the throne room by switching your camera to the Eye of the Watcher. Click the Eye of the Watcher button right now. Ooh, excellent, so that's the map view. Use the round yellow location marker to find the forest. Right clicking on the location marker will center the camera on the forest. You can click on the ground in the forest and select go here to start walking there. Alternatively, you can click on the location marker and choose go to location. Yes that and we'll also center over here. There is the forest. What do we have in the forest here? We've got signs. The walk to the forest is long. Make time. Yeah, yeah, I can speed up time. Yes, I don't need to know anything about that. Ah, the forest! Much adventure awaits me in these woods. The wildflowers here are especially beautiful. I should collect some. No, one never knows when some wildflowers will come in handy. Alright, I can discover this plant. What does this mean? Discover. Hmm, it looks like a shrub of some kind. Yes, I have got leaves and... Oh! I've discovered wildflowers. Oh, let's collect some wildflowers. I've got medium success odds. No, we don't need to know about gathering. We're, we're figuring it out all right. Look at him. Look at him! We'll discover this after. Because discovering sounds like fun. Is this rock anything? I can discover this rock. No, it won't allow me to. Some items in your inventory will go bad after time. Why can't I discover this rock? Do not have the ability. Now. There are all kinds of plants one can pick across the kingdom. I believe wizards, physicians, and spies use plants to make potions. Discovered more wild. Uh oh, uh oh, pause, 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 pause. So I've discovered more wildflowers, and then this guy, Forest Bandit Adorna. Well, well. No, that's the wrong accent. Well, well. A victim has come to visit my forest. You'd better hand over your money if you know what's good for you. Oh my God, that hurts my throat. 
A bandit dares to threaten the king. My trusty sword can bring this brigand to justice, but I'm all sickly and stuff. Challenge the bandit to a duel. All right. Monarch. Duel to the death. Apparently I cannot do that, but I can just duel in general. Ooh, threaten for money. Spar. This is really cool. Send to the stocks. Yeah, we'll have to do that after. I challenge you, good sir. How dare. Just because I'm old and sickly. Actually, I guess I didn't realize that was a whoops. Baha! I toss down the gauntlet. I pick up the gauntlet. Hey! Give me back my gauntlet! Oh, yes. I want to learn more about combat, actually. Whoa there, my sword and doubt combatant, before you decide to step in the arena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a sword? Yes, okay. Um, yes, okay. You can upgrade your swords and everything. Do you have your skill? Oh, you need to skill and level up and practice at the training dummy. That's good to know. Are you focused? Focused is good. Um, hmm. Chosen enter combat, health and stamina. Yes, I mean, I, all I want to know is how do you actually fight? Uh, you can get injured, you can lower their stamina. Yes. Sharpen your sword before you begin a duel. Click on the sword in your inventory, choose sharpen. That sounds like a pretty good idea, but I guess they just do it automatically, don't they? It is the sin after all. Look at that. Hey, I even put on a helmet. Oh, no, I'm smart. Ow, my arm! Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm sickly. I can't do this. Okay, her stamina's running out pretty quickly, though. Apparently she's out of shape. Oh, nicked her on the leg. Excellent. Got some XP for that. Oh, he got me back. Luckily, I am wearing some greaves and stuff. Oh, no! Did I lose? Or did I just get tripped? Track this fight with focus. Herbalist, I got a bonus for herbalist. Yeah, I know. I don't want to know about that. So we tripped her, too. Come on, just stab her while she's on the ground. God. Oh, I have chain mail and a long sword. I have some seeds and some wildflowers. Oh, that's good. My relationships. I, I don't think I really particularly like this person, for one. Scholarly, yes. I'm agnostic. Oh, there's fates to choose in, choose from. That's awesome. So she's slightly more injured than I am and much less stamina. She's about to wear out. She's obviously not very good at that. She doesn't look like she can handle her sword. She's far too heavy. Oh, she did trip me again, though. Luckily, she's not smart enough to actually stab me while I'm on the ground. Oh, what's this? I am fatigued. Oh, I'm losing focus. Because she's, yes, she's way She gives up. Not enough stamina. It's a good thing I had my focus to help me there. I have defeated her. Uh, Bennett could really become a problem in Quillivania, but a knight or spy could curb that. Now I can collect wooden piece. Yeah, but can I just not send her to the stocks? Send her to the stocks. You. You're under arrest. Yes, that's right. Ah. Oh, no, 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 no. Constable is on the way to arrest her. That's right. Okay. Now, I can collect more wildflowers. Oh, yes, we need wood. Can I get it from trees? What about these trees? No. Mm hmm. We got bandit. Went off that way. I can whittle? Really? That's cute. Okay, let's see this. Certain locations provide special function. Click on a landmark in a forest, like a signpost, and... Oh! Oh, patrol! Excellent. Click wood, take a stroll, hunt. Oh, that's so awesome, actually. I really like that. You just tell them what to do, and then you can go and manage someone else while they do cool stuff. Which I guess there's a lot of that in Sims. Luckily, I am still wearing my helmet. These forests are dangerous. Hey, what? Oh, I see. I clicked on the landmark. It sends me to the forest. I do stuff. There was always adventure waiting to be found in the forest. The wood was collected, and the kingdom would soon prosper from it. So... Okay, I'm still fatigued. I'm victorious, so I got fa uh, focus from that. Awesome. So I've probably got some wood now. Indeed I do. Wood. Um, no. That's alright. Now. Okay, I've completed that. Complete the collect wood. There we are. This wood will be perfect for the kingdom's next building project. The builder will also need stone. I can mine some in the cave by the graveyard. But there's stone right here. The cave by the graveyard, really? Yes, go here. What do we have here? A grave digger? <gasps> With dead people! Oh my god! A couple of builders are dead. Wedge and Vix, weren't they just in the... F Maybe they're sleeping. Oh yeah, they're breathing. Okay, they're resting under the tree. Okay, let's hurry up. Hurry up, king. There you are. Ah, oh, my lord, can I have a word, please? It's about my work here. Are you not happy with... Uh, discuss grave digging. Are you not happy with your job as a grave digger? But it seems very, you know, 
It, it's got to be fulfilling. Well, you fill holes anyway. I was just wondering if you could consider building a church here in the kingdom. Yeah. It seems unceremonious to bury these people without proper right from Jacobin or Pederin priest. Thank you, my lord. Hmm, an interesting proposition. There are many things to consider when I choose what to build next. On that note, we need that stone. Yes, so apparently I collect stone by going into the cave, the dark cave, by the graveyard. Well, this has never resulted in anything bad. Hmm. Wow, this is actually a lot of fun. And then you get to build up your kingdom? Okay, I severely misjudge this game. Oh! Henry collected stones while venturing deep into the endless network of tunnels. Eventually, he climbed down a sheer drop into a dark abyss. At the bottom, Henry reached an underground lake. He stumbled over a small chest sitting in a puddle. What should Henry do? Do you open it? Or not open it? Of course we're going to open it. We're quite brave. Opens the lid and found a small bounty of wet coins inside. It paid to be adventurous. I got 125 simoleons. Thank you very much. Woot woot. Can't actually interact with the poke around the flowers. That should be enough stone for the builder. I should stop by the village shop with an E next. But I'll need some supplies. Next destination, village shop. There's a convenient way to find key locations in your kingdom. Click on locations and select path to village to quickly point the camera towards the village. Oh. Oh. That's very convenient. I can tell him to go here. Oh, this just sends me to the village. Oh, go to village shop. Alright, so it's not actually in my kingdom. Speed up, and... You can use your camera controls to have a better look at the village in the distance. Oh, really? You can right-click anywhere in the ground to center the camera. Right? Yeah, okay, that's fine. I can... As king, I can use the gold... Oh, simoles! That are added to my funds each day from taxes, or I can collect and sell goods. So, I'm gonna go to the village. <gasps> Little boy! Where am I? Oh, there we are. Village shop. What am I supposed to buy? I don't even know. A hammer? Probably. I, I, I don't even know. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Let's assume I need a, a hammer. A cruddy hammer. Let me see. Stocky man approached Henry, then bowed. I have heard word of your arrival, and in your honor I have preferred two gifts to help as you build your kingdom. However, I shall only give you one of them. The gift you received depends on your answer to this question. What virtue would you rather bring to Quilivania? Hmm. Safe to your power. Rawr. No, I'm a, I'm a goodly older, calmer king. I will value safety. As I build my kingdom, I will value the safety of my people over our offensive strength. My people are my heart. Man nodded. Very good, very good, your highness. You are wise indeed. I, then I present you with the gifts of resilience, the monarch's armor of fortitude. It's not the best armor, but let it symbolize your goals as you build Quilivania into a great, bustling kingdom. Cool. Can I put it on? Oh, yeah, it's got higher defense. Equip. Okay. What do I need to do? Oh, I don't have to buy anything at the shop. I just have to check it out. So, presumably when I'm done, then I'll be okay. Can I, uh... Can you zoom me in on Lord Henry here? Does the armor look the same? Yeah. Doesn't really look different. Okay. I should have a crest right here. From crest of my kingdom. I'm thinking about cows. Oh, I'm thinking about the shop, I see. Alright, that's good. Yes, the inventory, yes. Okay, I saw that. The hammer, I could equip the hammer, but that would suck. I could sharpen my sword. Oh, there we go. No, I just changed back to my normal outfit, I see. King! King, help, help! Who's calling for help? Who? Oh, we're in here. Check safety. Turn around. What do you need, milady? Amelia Bergeron? Bergeron? Oh, I have this really stupid hat on my head. There's a woman in town square. She pushed me into the mud and called me names. This can't happen in Quilovania. A bully in my kingdom? I don't think so. Okay, yeah, but seriously, suck it up a little bit. Mm, Alright, let's go, let's go check this out. Go to location. Room. That must be her. I will not accept bullying in Quilvania. Sometime the stocks will teach her. Yes, town bully. Send two stocks. I've already sent one person there. 
You will obey me. You will go to the stocks and we will throw rotten tomatoes at you. Constable's on the way. What? I was just messing around. Ah, it's good to be king. Everyone has their own way of going about these problems, though. wonder how a wizard or physician would have handled that bully. Look at this guy, the constable. Sorry. Constable Henricus. Oh, Dude's dangerous, man. I think I'll, gan I'll take a gander at the bully in the stocks. Yes, I would love to see the stocks. Can I do that? Mm. Judgment zone. The zone of judgment. Yes, go here. Oh, the proclamation's being read or something. Town crier. Hellwise. Look at this pit. <gasps> She's going to be locked in there. Now to shame the bully. That'll make her think twice about messing with my townspeople. That's right. Are they calling? Is the town crier calling people forward? Throw tomato. Yes, that's what I want to do. It's not very kingly, though, frankly. Right in the face. Come on. Get her. Get her. I just carry yeah. tomatoes around. Oh, schmack. She didn't like that. Let's throw an egg at her, too. Mm, bam. Oh, yucky. Disgusting. Ah, it's good to be king. Now, quite an adventure. I should return to the throne room with this wood and stone. That does sound... That does sound wise. Let's go to the throne room. Center on myself once more. Sim is hungry. Should look for something to eat. Oh, all right. Actually, tell me a little bit more. Like, where do I get food? I can prepare food. I have to cook my own food. But I'm the king. Hmm. Not to risk modest discourse, but the sign of a practiced bard is not only the melodious poetry of his musical composition, but also stalwart commit. Okay. Well, hello, good looking. It would seem a few visitors have arrived while I was out. I do believe I see a visitor who catches my eye. What? This bard? Really? Or... Keely? Kelly, the commoner? I'm hungry. Who can make me food? I'm the king. I shouldn't have to cook my own food. Oh, there's lots of people around. Mmm. Click to make a choice. Ah. Oh. Oh! Gives you a choice of who to woo. Do you want to woo the, the, the bard, the dude, or the trader Lisa? Beautiful and elegant merchant. We're going to go for Lisa. Because that's how my king rolls. I've never been able to resist a woman who knows her way around gold, and I presume she won't be able to resist this wildflower I picked earlier. Yes. Give the wildflower to Lisa. Why can't I do this? Oh, I need higher relationship. Well, let's... Uh, let's say hi. Friendly. Let's just let's just ask about her health. How do you do? How do you do, Trader Lisa? Hello, Lisa. Oh, that's actually a pretty nice shirt you're wearing there. You've got to have some money. You won't come after me for my goods. How you doing? Doing okay? Healthy? You bear our children? Everything? How about let's chat? Because you know I'm gonna need heirs. You're actually kind of homely in the face, to be honest. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Um, get to know. Actually, discuss the state of the kingdom. That sounds good. But what do you think about my kingdom? You know, it's my kingdom. This is my throne room. I have lots of money. <laughs> Who's, who the hell are you? Okay. Oh, what's that? Oh, yes. Plus happiness. Wonderful. We're still just acquaintances. Shoe, funny, no. not gonna do that. I'll get to know you, though. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Kingdoms and stuff. Okay, talk faster. Come on, people. What's this? Nicely decorated, yes. Victorious. I'm hungry. I'm still focused, which is good. She thinks I'm being sociable. Ah, I've unlocked the give flower. Let's cue that up next. 
Evelyn! Have I learned anything about her? Have I learned if she likes flowers? There you go. Oh, here's a flower for you, milady. Oh, sweet. Wow, thank you! I've traded many flowers in my lifetime, but none as beautiful as this. You are most kind and enticing king. Ah, the early blossoms of love. I can't wait to see the other beautiful travelers that will come to Quilavania. Perhaps I could even start a family with one of them. But for now, I should deliver the resources to build Master Philippus. Yes, let's do that. I've got wood. I mean, you know, sticks and stuff. And rocks. These look great, your highness. Give me some time to take inventory and I'll make sure you have enough resources. Excellent. Looks like I have, some, I have some time to myself, get to know my townspeople, explore my kingdom, or just relax. Or being king, I can tackle my many daily responsibilities. Oh, I have responsibilities. In fact, at any time during the quest, I can take a break from the quest tasks and do whatever I want. There are no consequences as long as my focus is high, unless I spend an entire day ignoring my quest. At a certain time each day, your sim will receive up to two responsibilities that you see here. Ah, so, for example, I must hunt and kill a great bear? What?! Me? But I'm, I'm not that kind of king. They're not related to your quest. You don't have to do them to proceed on your quest. However, they will affect your focus and in turn affects your quest performance. Okay, what else? Ask two citizens about life in Quilvania. See, that seems much more reasonable. Let's start with this minstrel. Um, yeah, so discuss state of kingdom. Sorry to interrupt you, minstrel, but you seem like you have a good pulse. You have your finger on the pulse of the people. Look, it's heard bowing down here at this guy. Carol the spinster. I'll ask her. Did that count as one? No. About life in Quilavania. Oh, oh, there's the option. Doi. Alright, so you just have to be like... Making the chitty chatty. Yes. And religion. Um, get to know. I'll just do a bunch up. There we go. Ask about life. She's agnostic, right? That count as one. There we are. Okay, let's find someone else. There we go. We'll ask uh, Lisa. Whoops. Call for food. What? How did I do that? How did I undo that? Oh, call for food. Yes, I want, I would like food. I'm hungry. Going the extra mile today and taking on more responsibility. Responsibility is key to my rule. Performing them will keep me focused. Good. I'm very hungry though, which is hurting my focus. Yes, the ticket. I write a letter. What's this? Here are three petitions. I should sit on the throne and hear some of the petitions. Yes. We'll do that as soon as I'm done eating. Would you like to learn more about food preparation? Well, yes, there's no pizza delivery. Mm, I can cook on different stuff, make food, recipes. So if you've got food, then you, if you've got food in your inventory, then you can make awesome stuff. Otherwise, you can make shitty stuff. Mm, bad food, larder, special object, prepare any recipes. Yeah, okay, we'll get to that later. But where's my food? Where's my food at? That minstrel. I don't get it. Maybe it's upstairs? Do I have a dining room? Like here? Oh! Look at her. Excellent. I'm gonna go up here and sit in my dining room. And wait for the food to come. Oh! Eat swordfish soup. Where did she put that? Oh, she put it in my bedroom. Sim's running out of energy. Should rest. No, we don't need to know about that. First, we need to eat. That's the primary thing. Very hungry. Oh. Oh, I'm eating with my hands? Really? We couldn't invent a wooden spoon? Are you serious? Come on. What? Maybe it's something I have to do. I'm currently comfy, decorated, victorious. Job well done. Ah, excellent. I'm very focused. Maybe I'll hear some petitions. I'm not going to do the hunt and kill a great boar, though. I am going to... Hold court. That sounds like a lot of fun, actually. Would you like to learn more about petitions? Yes, actually, I do. Yeah, they come for advice. I can hold court. I get options. 
Oh. Which will affect my thing. Oh, I am getting kind of sleepy. Hmm. Marvelous meal? Oh, I'm really happy. Victorious. Job well done. Where's my... Can I not get those bars this time? Oh, that's really interesting. Maybe I'm just bored here. Oh, there's my energy level. So they don't have all the stats as before. They don't have, uh, like, bladder and hygiene. Maid Celestria. Arise! What would you like? Well, you see... Okay. My liege, I ask that you fund a voyage into the unknown. I shall sail in your name and discover the secrets of the world around us. Knowledge, treasure, glory, these things can be yours. Oh, I like the sound of that. Hmm. I can either pay for it and do that, or I can refuse. Say the highest concern begins with me. Everything else in the world exists in concentric rings of lessening importance. No, no, no. I've got the money, and this sounds like fun. Let's do that. I shall lead a voyage of wonders. My popularity has increased. I'm now liked within the kingdom. Oh, awesome. What do you want? I'm ruined. A freak frost suddenly descended on my farm, destroyed all my tomatoes. Why does it keep happening with me? To me. Hmm. So, um, I would hate to go without your world-famous tomatoes. Perhaps a little gold will help you recover from your losses. Or, a good farmer must prepare for lean years. Natural disasters and bizarrely localized, even bizarrely localized ones such as yours are bound to happen. Next year, your crop will be stronger. Huh. Now, okay, I don't have anything to do with my money. I'm still going to help them out. We're going we're gonna to get ourselves really, really well liked to start off with. We're not a jerk. This should replace my crops with enough left over to buy a lucky horseshoe. You know, just in case. Massive popularity increased. I'm quite popular among the people. Where does that actually show up? Actually, I'm curious. All right. Yay! Oh, he's going to sing me a song? Good. Listen, I need one more petition to finish this thing off. Come on. Petition me. Oh, there we are. My liege, I have little money and no possessions, save a peasant-grade loot. I live only on donations from kind citizens and from performing for the local children. Now I must procure 300 simuls or lose my home. That's a lot. The castle cannot simply dispense large sums of money to every sad person in the kingdom. If I give handouts now, where will they end? Wow. I'm already quite popular. Sorry, no. Sucks to be you. Learn a more productive profession. No, we do have nowhere to go. I have no one. My popularity is decreased. I'm now only liked. All right. So no, that's that's it for me. I could write more laws. Oh, cool. All right. Cancel this. I'm awfully sleepy. All right. I'm fully focused. Uh, no, not this. I want to uh, write a letter. Special object has uses only to the monarch. Find the scribe table in the throne room. Really? Really? In the throne room? Are you sure? Oh, here it is. Uh, and I'm doing which one am I doing? Write letter of hire because I want to hire a oh a loyal advisor. Royal advisor. Dear Penthouse, I never thought this would happen to me, but sending this off at the messenger post will guarantee me an advisor in no time. Okay. Um, the carrier pigeons roost in messenger posts around the kingdom. There's one outside the throne room at the bottom of the steps. Oops. Right there. Come on. Send letter of hire. I want to see this pigeon. I'm gonna grab the pigeon, attach it a big letter, and send it flying. Oh no, a hawk got it! Oh, cool. Let's discover these plants because they're right here. Probably just wildflowers. Yeah. All right, we'll collect that. Very high odds of success. Well, I have done it before. Write new laws, but I think we are going to pass out pretty soon, so we're gonna do that. So we are going to go to sleep. I got some wildflowers and grass, grass weed. Grass weed, not grass seed. Good night, everyone. Oh, super sleepy. Get our energy back up. Things still happening in our throne room while we're gone? Yeah. And if I zoom out some more. Whee! Oh, cool. We got a harbor. 
What's this down here? Another messenger post. Lots of, oh, 15 buckets of water, 24 hours until refill. That's, so I guess it's full right now. Wow, and yeah, there's no buildings around here. We're definitely going to be building some stuff. Very cool. Who is this? Oh, that's my advisor. Oh, we still have to wait. Oh, we got a responsibility expiring soon. I don't want to hunt a great bear. I was focused. Why am I not focused anymore? Oh. I'm hungry again. We are, yeah, waking up time. Good. Good work. And call for food. Good. Finish cooking that, and we'll eat it. Yum, 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 yum. Why does she keep serving it? Eel soup this time. Why does she keep serving it in my room? Like, in my bedroom. Then I have to carry it myself to the dining room. Yeah, we're totally unfocused. Oh, we fail the responsibility, and that's fucking us up. Shirked responsibility, lost focus. Oh! Okay, well, quick, we'll come down here and write, write a new law. Huh. And write another law. So Cancel dinner. Let. Quick, 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 before it runs out. Get out of my way. Mm -hmm. I have to write laws. Ah. Woo! Just barely got it in there. So, apparently, okay, they keep, they don't refill infinitely, presumably. So, I'll have to keep that in mind. So, I'm only a little bit focused, but hopefully I can ask my new advisor for advice. Hey, Russell. So, uh, what do you think I should be doing? Do people like me? My lord, to be honest, the throne room is a bit lacking. You need to furnish it better if you're going to impress any foreign leaders or professionals. You need simuls to purchase items, so I'm adding to your fund. Oh, thank you. Um, usually you will make symbols each day from taxes or by selling resources that you collect. Suggest so buying something to decorate the throne room. Enter furnish mode. Oh, sweet. What are we going to add? Um, okay. Mm, screens, yes. You can rotate it using those or by holding the mouse. Yeah, same as normal. Okay. So we've got uh, domestic, services, comfort, storage, decor. Oh, we want decor. We could put in some plants. That might be nice, actually. Right next to the throne. Hmm. Some wall decor. Mirrors, curtains, sculptures. Ooh, that might be really impressive. Um, I wonder if we can stick a plant right in there, actually. Something like this guy. Oh, we can. That's what I want. And another. Beautiful! Go back to live mode. Excellent! Oh, that's nice. Looks very Roman to me. Now what do I want to do? Opening the throne room to foreign dignitaries is a great step towards a strong kingdom. Click on Lord Henry and then declare throne room is open. Declared it open. Much better, my lord. I would even suggest an official proclamation that the throne room is open to diplomats from foreign lands. Yes, indeed. Not a bad idea to consider opening more relations to our neighboring nations. I will take a peek at the tactical map before I continue to expand my kingdom. Tactical map? Really? Uh, I need to view political situation. Oh, these guys are not getting along. The Smith Master and my advisor. There's a map. Oh, this game is awesome! This is your kingdom, the seat of a burgeoning empire, destined for greatness, or not, it's up to you. Control the course of your kingdom's rise to greatness or its fall from grace. You are the author of your kingdom's story, be it an epic tale, tearful tragedy, or a lively comedy. I'm gonna have to play it evil once. Click here to re write your own kingdom history story. Oh, okay. So, that's me. This is Tredney, which is annexed and loyal. For many generations, Tredney has been a central hub of commerce and trade for the region. The first pupils of their famed institute did the math and discovered that it was far more profitable to buy and sell goods than actually produce them. Mm. The leader is the merchant princess Adarine, Adarine of Tredoni. Trade info. They import herbs and seeds. They trade a bunch of other stuff. Well, okay, I can trade them herbs and seeds because apparently I can pick them myself. Benefits. They provide several food and drink recipes. What about these guys? These people are annexed and loyal. The antithesis of Tredney, the people of Crafthole, are the makers and doers of the world. Their determination is grounded in their belief that hard work equals success, and that a sim, no matter how poor, can always pull himself up by his bootstraps. So the leader is Smithmaster Sierran of Crafthole. Oh! Who apparently doesn't get along with my advisor. And they import minerals and ores, and will trade other things. Alright. 
As Quilovania expands, so will the number of territories in ex I can explore. Speaking of expanding, I wonder if Builder Master Philippus has finished taking inventory of the resources. Let's discuss the future of the kingdom with him. Mm -hmm. My performance is improving. Aren't you a s strong looking guy? New stuff! Good to be king! From excellent leadership. Awesome. I am an excellent leader. There are enough resources here, and the builders are all ready. Only one question remains, my lord. What will you build, highness? Awesome! Quest completed! Sweet! I've leveled up. I'm level two. I got more money. Congratulations on completing your first quest. You can see your overall quest performance on the left page. Your quest performance determines the level of your quest rewards on the right page. Your kingdom results include resources which you spend to place new buildings. The sim rewards show that your monarch earned enough simuls, uh, money to purchase things in furnish mode, as well as experience points to earn profession levels and gain skill and notoriety. Okay, I got it at a gold level. I'm level two, yes. One more happiness, awesome. Congratulations, you've completed your first quest. Among your rewards, you have gained resource. Oh, yeah. Click on the arrow in the kingdom status box to see the aspects. Kingdom aspects. Oh, my knowledge is high. You see your aspects panel. Your goal is to build up your kingdom's aspects, which you have begun by completing your first quest. Yes. So we're neutral in well being, security, culture, but higher in knowledge. You can now purchase your new buildings using your resources. Select any green map marker to make your purchase. After you place a building, you will choose a new hero sim of a new profession to occupy it. Make sure you rotate the camera to see all the locations for the nine types of hero sims. When you're done placing a building, choosing a hero, select another quest from the quest play book to continue playing. This concludes the tutorial. You need help at any time? Lessons. Yeah, okay. So, we rotate around. We got... Oh man, what do we got over here? A mill, but we don't have enough. We only have ten, so it's going to be the green ones. A wizard's tower. Ooh. A clinic. I like wizards. Um, the docks, which we can go to, but there's nothing to build. A lighthouse, which we can't afford. A smithy. A market. Town square, which we can just go to. Tavern. Right, it's the shops. We're looking for green things. Later, we can build a king ball court. Awesome. Oh, what do we have? A Jacobin Cathedral, a Pateran Cathedral, we cannot yet afford a Watcher's Pavilion, a Barracks. Hmm, I kind of want a Wizard's Tower because that sounds like fun, but frankly, I think a Market, That's that sounds like the sort of thing that's really important early on. That being said, actually, Smithy, so we can start building things. I think the Smithy, that, that seems very, very reasonable, even though I would really like Wizard stuff. So we're going to start with the Smithy. It Kingdom Aspects Capacity Increase. It gives us a lot more security and a little bit of culture. All manner of tools, weapons, and armor manufactured. Oh, I see, right? And if we were to go here, we would get more well-being and more knowledge. Oh, the market makes a lot more sense. All exchange of goods and ideas. Yes, yes, yes. We can just import some of the stuff we need. Sure, market it is. Oh, look at that. Learn about selecting a quest. Um, no, we're good. Sweet, our knowledge is peaking even higher. So, knowledge represents the general education level of populace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the knowledge of kingdom is currently good enough that XP gain is slightly increased. Sims are occasionally inspired. Oh. So currently our culture gives us unique social options. Some bandits roam the countryside. Home burglaries happen occasionally. And the high well-being means, oh, infected sims roam the kingdom. I wonder what it would have been like before when it was only two. So, probably another bad thing. But now, hopefully, you know, things are going to be a little bit better and maybe less likely to infect people. Okay, so that's... that's that, yeah. What's this? New beginnings. That was the quest, but we're done that. Oh my god, we get tons of quests! So, available quest points. We have 49. Only a limited, limited amount of quest points per ambition. So there's going to be more quests than you can possibly undertake in this one go. Um, so you have to pick and choose. Oh, this is so excellent! Okay, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop this recording here. We're gonna call this episode one. We've just completed the New Beginnings quest. And I'm going to, uh, continue very shortly. 
uh, with the second quest. So until next time, folks.